PS4 system software update 6.72 is now available to download. What is going on ladies and gentlemen, Monkey Flop here and welcome back to the channel. Now before we get into the patch notes and what is included with this new system software update, <laughs> I would like to actually let you guys know there are some issues and some users are experiencing trouble with the download including your boy. Now, um, I'm going to update my PlayStation 4 Pro right now, and I'm going to test it out, and I will update you guys with a later video, so make sure you guys stay tuned to the channel. But before I update my PlayStation 4 Pro, because that's what I use to record all of my videos with, uh, just know that I've had issues with the PlayStation Slim update, and uh, I have the original PlayStation here at home as well. And that also is having some issues. Um, it's so, so difficult and it's so frustrating when there's a new system software update available and there's issues. Now, keep in mind, um, from what I've read online, most users are not experiencing issues. What I definitely do recommend is if you, um, you by all means, uh, turn off your uh, automatic updates um, in your system settings because if you guys, um, you know, are experiencing issues, uh, then it could be a very big headache for you, uh, just like it is for me. Now, for me, uh, the PlayStation Slim um, is very laggy, and it just sh shut off and went to rest mode all of a sudden. <laughs> I'm just like, what the heck? But, um, you know, with these new system software updates, uh, PlayStation is known to do like little soft updates in the background. So that's what I'm hoping for. And that's what I'm going to be waiting for. But anyways, let's just go ahead and uh, update my PlayStation 4. Uh, let's go ahead and hit that uh, view details button because I'm sure you guys are wondering what's included. What's included? This system software update improves system stability. Um, well, not on my end, at least for the Slim and the fat PlayStation 4. Let's go ahead and update it. And I'm actually going to stay with you guys just to see because on my PlayStation Slim, as soon as I updated it, I, uh, you know, the screen went black and then uh, it, didn't, it didn't restart update. And now I apologize for this black screen you guys are seeing. I like to do this, um, you know, especially when there's issues. I like to record the whole thing all the way through to see if uh, we run into any problems whatsoever. Now, install uh, update file shouldn't take that long. Although, do you guys hate the fact that when you get a new game, you have to uh, download the game? Um, install it and then it gets an update and then you have to install the update and sometimes with uh, especially like ps4 games the update this will let you guys know whether or not um, you know uh, the update has been fixed <laughs> um, but literally I was just uh, troubleshooting the PlayStation slim the PlayStation the old PlayStation that I have the original one that I get on launch um, that one is not having issues, you know, just automatically going into rest mode. Uh, that is just having, oh my goodness. You see, this is what I, exactly I'm talking about. It's rebuilding the database. Uh, and that doesn't happen all the time. In fact, when I updated the other systems, um, that didn't happen at all. And I'm really, really scared uh, that, I, I, I really hope that nothing, um, happens out of this uh, but we'll just go ahead and um, just test a couple of things out really quickly um, I already clicked on library uh, and oh there it goes <laughs> we want to see if the the system is a little bit laggy and if it's um, out responsive enough um, because that's been an issue in the past and it kind of looks like um, that it is a little bit more sluggish but like I said, we'll have to wait and see. Let's just launch a couple of things and test it out really quickly. And then again, I'll be back later on today to give you guys a full update on um, everything that's popping. Uh, so uh, YouTube seems to be working okay. Let's go ahead and go into the PlayStation Network Store. Keep in mind, I have really good internet here and um, it usually loads the PlayStation Network Store quite quickly. 
So it looks like we're not having any issues with the uh, PlayStation 4 store. Um, I'm kind of curious. Let's go ahead and launch a game really quickly. I'm going to launch this game because this this game usually doesn't take that. I already press a button like three times and there was no response. That is not good. Um, it, if it's if it's supposed to, uh, you know, improve system stability, um, my PlayStation 4 Pro is going a little bit slower this morning than usual. Um, but let's just see if this uh, game that we got for free on the PlayStation Network Store loads up okay. And it looks like it does. So, um, you know, so far on the PlayStation 4 Pro, I haven't had any issues other than a little bit slower of a menu. Uh, but I will continue testing this on my own and then provide you an update later on today. Uh, I hope this video helped you guys out. A lot of you guys always ask me uh, what's up with the new system software updates. And I always let, like to let you guys know. So make sure to hit a like, comment down below, support your boy. And if you guys are new, subscribe with those bell notifications turned on. And I will see you guys in the next news update. You guys are freaking awesome.